Hey everybody, it's Brad and Krista with the Big Family Homestead and we have heard your cries. We have heard your pleas from afar. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen our videos boasting that we can feed a family of nine on less than 300 bucks or around 300 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. We've done planning videos and showed you how we do it, but you guys were all like, oh, really? What about breakfast and lunches and snacks and such? <laughs> so we are here to answer you. <laughs> such a goof. I know. But that's how, they, that's how the comments look. Oh, really? Well, what about breakfast and lunches and snacks and stuff? That's just how it looks. No, that's not how it looks. It really does. No. It even like slants. The fonts, they're not straight up. They... And you can see them crossing their arms you. in their little <laughs> picture. And they huff. <laughs> they huff and they puff. So oh. we are here to show you how we do it. Now, this is not to say this is the only way to do it. But I am here to tell you, party people of YouTube, it can be done. Yep. Yes, there are seven kids in this house, not counting me. That would make 12. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you got to understand, I'm going to show you our receipt here uh, closer up. But we've got our receipt for the month. <laughs> and um, I'm going to show you right now up close what we spent on groceries for this month. All right, so here is our receipt. Now, we're gonna go very slowly so you can kinda see some of the stuff. And, oh yeah, if you saw over here, yeah, that, that might be apple juice, but we're gonna just keep moving on. You know, everybody's gotta have their priorities, right? Anyway, moving on down, still going, still going, still going, and we're almost down to the end, and what do we see right, oop, get out of those shadows. All right, 278.39. This is our pretty much budget for most of the month. We have a few dollars left over for fresh stuff later in the month. But not only this, but check this out. The store we go to has like a fuel payback thing. And so fuel points for this month, we're gonna get 46 cents a gallon off in fuel just because well, pretty much we bought a lot of their generics, and uh, they like that. But we like that right down there. Now, one thing you have to understand going into this, because there's a lot of you out there right now who are going, not possible, cannot feed nine people on $300 a month, and I say, normally... Yes, you can. Well, well yes, you can, <laughs> but... If you did not homestead, if you did not have animals, if you did not have a garden, if you did not make stuff, I think it would be pretty, pretty darn impossible. Right, right. We make a lot, a lot of our food. We don't buy store-bought bread. Uh, we have, have a garden. We have a garden. We have chickens. Chickens. We have a cow. We have goats. Make cheeses. We make cheese, um, yogurt. What else? A lot. There's and we're, a lot. <laughs> we're gonna get into it right now. We're gonna show you this is not gonna be like the main course uh, entree things that we've shown you, um, but we're gonna show you what we do so that we get that $300 budget or right around there. Mm -hmm. And so I guess let's start out with um, breakfast ideas, Mama. Okay. One thing that, that we do that um, is really kind of different is we when we do our meal planning like our dinner meal planning we will take like you've seen in past videos and there's links to see them if you haven't seen them but uh, we'll take an actual calendar mm -hmm. and sit down and write it out and plan it out we're not going to rehash all that because you can go watch that at your leisure right. <laughs> and that's just our main dishes that doesn't include the sides you know we just that way we know okay this we're gonna have spaghetti this night or uh, chicken pot pie that night or whatever that's just the main dish so one thing that people find funny about this particular um, aspect of our planning and how we save so much money we actually don't plan the breakfast lunches and snacks nope. and the reason why is there's so much flexibility that has to happen in our house because we've got two uh, well we've got an 18 year old and we've got well 
Whatever, you could call him 15. He doesn't act 15. He's 16. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little just He's, a little bit of a rib. A little bit, yeah. Well, but they both work full work. time right now. And so we've got to have an element of flexibility mm -hmm. with scheduling. Mm -hmm. We have basic times that we'll have, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they can be here and sometimes they can't. Right. And so that's why we don't actually sit down and plan out the entire you know, written out menu, but right. we're going to show you what we do. Um, but that's why we don't actually put pencil to paper. Right, right. It's, it's our breakfasts are, okay, well, what do you feel like having today? Oatmeal, well, cereal. On, yeah. Oatmeal is a huge staple. Yep. A big huge staple. Huge staple. Because it's cheap. It can stretch. Mm -hmm. Fills up your belly. Yep. You can put raisins in it if you get a good deal on raisins. Yep. Yep. You can put homemade jams and jellies on it to make it more of a treat. Yum. This, okay, a box of oatmeal, how much is it these days? $2.99. Is it $2.99? Uh -huh. We've got it on the receipt there. You look for that, mama. Okay. But oatmeal, you can add cinnamon, you can add a little milk, you can add all kinds of different things to make it into not so bland, not so boring. Right. You can even make it savory if you wanted to. You mm -hmm. could put some peanut butter on there. Um, but oatmeal goes a long way because a half cup of this will fill up a big person's belly. Here. Oh, it's, sorry, 350. 350. Yeah. We've gotten it that cheap in the past. You know? Yeah, it just, it fluctuates. Well, and you gotta be careful, guys. I mean, we are living in a humongous inflation economy. Yeah. Um, something that cost a dollar fifty three years ago is now through the roof. Well, also go back to the oats. We buy the old fashioned oats in the big, the humongous, big humongous tubs. Tub. We don't buy the individual instant packets. We don't buy the flavored packets. And that is where we get a huge savings because yep. those are quite expensive. This can be flavored yeah. any way they want. It can be, like you said, savory, it can be sweet, it can be whatever you want. And it can also be used for... Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> granola. Right. We make our own granola. Right. Um, and so you add a little bit of honey, you add some raisins in there. Some if nuts. you got some nuts, mm -hmm. bake it up. And this is a super cheap way. I mean, we don't do it cheap all the time. It's, we, if we find things on sale, you know, if we find a good deal on cherries or cranberries, then we'll throw those in there. Yeah. Um, if we find a good deal on almonds mm -hmm. or walnuts, we'll chop those up and put those in there. But it's only stuff on sale. We don't pay full price. No for way. It. Yeah. And, and the thing about granola is the best deal we found on granola is like a box that's pretty small and it's $2. Yeah. It's a, I think it's a 16 ounce box. Yeah. It's a dollar eighty. So, but when you yeah. consider, you know, um, oh, that reminds me, we've got to talk about yogurt later. Okay. Yogurt. But um, when a family of nine sits down, that box is gone. It, well, it takes, if everybody's having a full bowl of yogurt, it takes two boxes. Right. Yeah. And so, if you make your yo your yogurt, <laughs> well, we'll talk yogurt Granola. tonight. Granola. Hallelujah. <laughs> you make um, it. If you it's make, a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper by about half. Mm -hmm. So you can you can really stretch that. And not only not only is it that you're making your granola, uh, and it's cheaper. You know what's in it. Mm -hmm. There's no nasty wasty chemicals. There's no funkiness no. in there unless you put it there. And if you did, then right. it's kind of like, why'd Shame you put you. it there? <laughs> right. So let's let's talk about some other breakfast stuff. Creamy, okay. Mama, the porridge you make. Yep, this is this cornmeal is what we use to make our creamy recipe. Uh, we have a video to it, and but it's a porridge. Put a link up here or here, not sure. Um, but it is a porridge, and it is sweet, and you can make it savory, but I like it really sweet and cinnamony, and it. And is this is not that simple. expensive. This was not expensive. This was, I think, a dollar ninety nine. And that box. stretches a lot because yeah. you're going to add milk. Mm -hmm. You're going to add some some sugar, some sugar, and some mm -hmm. cinnamon, or however, whatever floats your boat. Right. But I'm going to say this probably a lot. But keep in mind that most of what we buy in this receipt right here, 
is basic ingredients. Right. We don't buy pre-made boxed up stuff very often at all. Right. I mean, we will buy pre-made cereals like Cheerios mm -hmm. and Raisin Bran. That's yep. pretty much all we buy that way. But yeah, and and um, that saves you a lot of money mm -hmm. in the chemical thing. We really, really are trying to get as natural as we can. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot, well, you know, it's been said, let your food be your medicine and let your medicine be your food. Mm -hmm. And even in my life, I have severe rheumatoid arthritis and I know if I eat a lot of sugar, pain goes through the roof. That's, yeah. Processed, you know, sugars and stuff like that, pain goes through the roof. I pay a price for it. Yeah. And so anyway, I'm going to get off that soapbox. Okay. Let's go back to breakfast. Breakfast. So. Uh, no, here, here's the big Mac okay, Daddy. Okay, this is, this is, this is the important one. We have chickens, yeah. so we don't pay for eggs, mm -hmm. <laughs> ever. No. Nope. And um, our kids will make scrambled eggs. That doesn't cost us a penny. Right. Because we've got the milk, If you and I know there a lot of people go, oh, you can't have scrambled eggs. You can't put milk in scrambled eggs. Well, whatever. We I like, like it. We like it's it It's fluffier. Right. You know, right. Um, They'll make fried eggs. They will make an egg sandwich. Lunches. For lunch. Um, also, there's a, a funny thing that uh, our daughter and son like to do is they'll take a slice of bread and cut a hole in it with a cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. And they'll put that in the skillet and then crack the egg in the center of the bread. And then yeah. put cheese on top of it. Yeah. They like that. And I'm going to go. I'm going to take just a second away from the eggs and talk about bread because okay. this is a breakfast and a lunch. Right. Mama made three of these this morning mm -hmm. and it was one batch. Now keep in mind, this is still warm and oh my gosh. <laughs> he's... I need a moment. I just need a moment, He's showing great restraint not tearing into the <laughs> <middle> <laughs> <of it. laughs> uh, But this is easily a pound and a half it's almost two pounds actually yeah yeah I and mean, almost two pound loaf this probably cost us 30 cents yeah in ingredients mm -hmm. breads guys if you're gonna have bread you know if you're gluten-free you figure that we out there are ways yeah. to do that right but we make our own breads and by we i i say me it's not me claire and i <laughs> both make bread um, we s switch off here and there. If I'm busy, then she'll make bread. If she's busy, then I'll make bread. It's just something we trade off on. Um, but, you know, a lot of people b buy, you know, loaves and loaves of bread. Yeah. And granted, you're spending a dollar on bread. Well, we're saving yeah. 70 cents per loaf making it at home. And no chemicals, no right. preservatives. You know exactly what's And in. trust me when I say it's this delicious. is so much better than it's that delicious. lifeless square thing that I, they sell you. Once in a while, Brad will come home with a loaf of bread and I'll I'll think, oh, She'll this go, will be so hmm. great. And then it's not. And it's t it's, oh, it's awful. Yeah, it's kind of like... <laughs> I've become if, a bread snob. If you guys have ever gone to a McDonald's restaurant, you know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. you go, oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. And it gives you like that instant temporary, instant mm -hmm. awesome, but then like it's 10 minutes good. later, you're like, oh, why did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of the same idea. Right. But breads, not only does she make these loaf breads like this, but Maybe. she'll make biscuits, mm -hmm. she'll make um, Corn Italian bread. cornbreads, mm -hmm. um, we're working on sourdoughs. Mm -hmm. Yep, I've got a great recipe from Alderman Farms. Yeah. I want to try their sourdough, it looks really, really good. But this, this is like, did, is this the sweet or savory? This is, fr uh, this is our French bread recipe. French bread. Yep. We make Amish sweet bread that I can't really have a lot of because no, of the whole sugar there's thing. there's a lot of sugar in it. But the point is, when we make this, you're saving a ton of money mm -hmm. and you're also keeping in control what is going into your food. Right. Now, another breakfast and dinner that we make a lot, goes onto the menu plan at least once a, a month, I'd say, is biscuits and gravy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a huge one for our family. Our kids love it. Buttermilk biscuits, and they cost us about thirty cents yep. to make a big tray of them, guys. Mm -hmm. And we do have videos on all this stuff. So if yep. you're interested and you're like, oh, I want to know, there are videos. Go into our playlist and check it out because there's we've got I think it's over a hundred recipes in there now. Yeah, I think so. So yeah. anyway, biscuits and gravy. You can take one pound of pork and feed nine people. And, and with leftovers. We have leftovers. There's leftovers so, in the fridge yeah, right now. Yeah. So um, other breakfasty mm. things. 
breakfast burritos. Yeah. Breakfast burritos. Uh, we buy the inexpensive tortillas. Um, a lot of times I can find these at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. A package of 10 for a dollar. Um, if we're over there, we don't make a special trip because that's just spending more money and gas and time. Well, and tortillas, but. that's something that we are going to make and we know how to make and we've made them before, mm -hmm. but they're kind of piddly. They're kind of piddly and the kids find out that I'm making fresh tortillas. They and eat them all. They're pretty much gone in minutes. So, so it's yeah. one of those things where we got to do it enough where it's not such a new novelty right. that they're like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Right, exactly. So I'll spend a dollar, dollar fifty on a package of tortillas and they'll last longer. <laughs> it stretches a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's see, more breakfasty things. What are other things that we do for breakfast? We do purchase cereals, like yeah. she said. Mm -hmm. um, we do have our milk from the cow. Yogurt. We've got our milk from the goat. Mama makes yogurt. Now mm -hmm. this is a humongous savings. Because mm -hmm. when you make yogurt. I make it by the gallon. Yep, she makes it. That's I'll insane. Take a How take much would it cost you at a grocery store to buy a gallon of yogurt? Well, a That's quart, organic a and quart, raw. A quart of whole milk, uh, plain yogurt is uh, $3.50 to $4, if not more, for organic whole milk yogurt. And so we'll that adds take, up. Yeah, we'll take, even if you didn't have a cow and you bought store bought milk, it's still a way it's better still deal. It's still a way better deal. I mean, it, a, a, a gallon of organic milk is $6 about. Uh, I don't remember because I haven't bought it in a while, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you buy a yogurt. Just a plain yogurt a from the store. A it's starter. not a, it, well that you use as your That's starter. That's what it is. It is it's, a starter. You're going to use that as your starter, and it's just it. We'll we'll do a video on on that's one video we don't have yet. So right. We will do that. And other things like if you if you feel like you want to do meats like uh, bacon's or sausages. Mm -hmm. We have in the past raised pigs. Yep. We cannot do that where we live right now, nor would we want to because it would be unfair to the animals. Right. We can't give them the space that they... To be to healthy be for healthy them. Animals. I mean, I don't... Hey, if you, you raise pigs and you, we're, not, we're not throwing stones, yeah. but just for us, we, wanna, we would want to provide for the animals in a way that... Mm -hmm. Well... Treat your animals the way that you would want to be treated if you were in the same situation, right? right? You know. And, and we're not saying that we're going to let them completely free range. No. They're going to have some confinement. They'll have area where they're fenced in, but they will have pasture, and then they will have a shelter to mm -hmm. go in. We're and not we've saying done that. we're going to put them in a in a ten by no, ten. No, no, that's enclosure. ridiculous. No, and we we've, we've raised pigs in the past, and we still have a good amount of uh, freezer pork. Yeah. In our freezer, and when you balance everything out. If you did your own butchering, mm -hmm. which we did not. We didn't know. We didn't know, either. and we were still learning at the time. Mm -hmm. But if you did your own butchering, it really is cheap. It goes down to about 20 to 25 cents a pound, kids. Yep. It's really, really affordable. And if you set up a pig pen in a way. Oh, yeah, we almost forgot about that. Yeah, keep going. Um, if you set up a pig pen in a way and... Um, well, let's just say this. When we had pigs, we pretty much didn't pay for feed at all. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. Because your circle of friends, whomever they are, if you just mm -hmm. ask them to keep scraps. Keep their kitchen scraps. We, we uh, at the time, were at a specific church, and, and these people were all about recycling. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, yeah. And we would give them a bucket, like a big bucket, like five gallon bucket, five -gallon bucket mm -hmm. to eight families. And every once in a while, they'd be like, here, I've got a half full, or I've filled mm -hmm. it up, or whatever. Yep. And those pigs will devour it. And so we barely had to pay for any food at all for those pigs, and they got market weight fast. They were eating high off the hog. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, another breakfast thing that it is so much better of a deal. Pancakes. Pancake mix. And this pancake mix is just we didn't a buy few that. We made that. We make this. We don't buy it prepackaged because I don't want any nasty, wasty stuff in it. Um, Show them the recipe. Well, I don't have the full recipe. This oh. is just what I add to it. Uh, it's flour, baking powder. powder, baking soda, sugar. And that's I think that's I think about that's it. it. And then you take one cup of this mix and you add one egg, one cup of milk. A little bit of butter and a little bit of vanilla 
And you got your pancakes. So you're talking Done. pancakes to feed nine people on less than a dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Less than a buck, guys. Yeah. And trust me, you're not sacrificing flavor. No. And that's that's the thing about all these recipes and all this stuff and, and all that we're talking about. You're not sacrificing flavor. Mm -mm. Um, that's kind of a deceptive thing. I mean, all of these companies that you buy prepackaged food from, they want you to think you're missing out. Yeah. Look at the graphics and look at how they market it. When you go into a grocery store, you know where the expensive things are on the right shelf? Right at eye level. Right at eye level. If you want to find the cheaper stuff, it's Let's way down bottom. where it's hard to find or way, way up high. Mm -hmm. And they do that on purpose. Yep. The flashy graphics and all that kind of stuff to make you think, oh wow, this clearly must be better. When it's a lot cheaper to do it yourself. And let's talk for a minute on time, because um, I do a lot of the cooking for dinners. Mm -hmm. Mama does a lot of the cooking and stuff for this kind of stuff, but the preparedness side of it. She'll make a mess of pancake mix. I'll spend 15, 20 minutes, no, not, not even, even that. It's five minutes, 10 minutes tops. Making a big bucket. Making a big bucket like this, and this will last us a couple of months. Yeah. Um, that way, all I have to do is take a, a couple of scoops out and make the pancakes, and we're done. Boom, you're done. Um, breads, our French bread recipe, it takes... Active work time. Active work time. Because you've got rise time, and then right. you've got to heat up the oven, but active work time? Active work time, 10 minutes? Yeah. And then it rises for 30 minutes, you put it in a loaf pan for 30 minutes, and then you bake it for 30 minutes. So baking time or, you know, inactive work time is an hour and a half. So if you have a, two hours where you're home and you're not really doing a whole lot, make bread. Bread doesn't take all day long. It doesn't have to take all day long. <laughs> and you won't go so, back. No, you won't. You will not go we back. <laughs> Fresh buttermilk biscuits. Oh my oh. gosh, guys. I seriously look. I got, I got chicken skin. <laughs> I got goosebumps right there. You want to talk to a chubby guy? Buttermilk biscuits. They are very good. And they're yeah. and they're really easy to make. Well, and all of those things, it's not hard. No, it just it takes a little bit of time. You need a little, little bit of knowledge. Mm -hmm. But um Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about crossover things. Stuff that we make that is a breakfast and a lunch item. Right. Cheeses. Okay. You make your yogurt, right? Well, this is cream cheese from a half a gallon of yogurt. Actually, I get a pound of cream cheese out of a half a gallon of yogurt. And it, I gotta tell you, I'll never go back. I will never buy store-bought cream cheese again. Well, and here's the thing with the cream cheese, guys. Yep. You, most people right now when we're making this video go, well, cream cheese is a dollar, but it's for a small, was it eight ounces? Eight ounces, so, okay. Keep in for mind. Us, Keep in mind, the milk that we get out of our cow gets used for a lot. Mm -hmm. It's milk, it's yogurt, it's cheeses, mm -hmm. so it doesn't get wasted, you know, and so when you figure all that stuff out, it's really, really cheap. Yeah, it, it really is. So, I mean, this, this package of, or this eight ounce block of cream cheese with... Maybe 25 cents, maybe? Uh, not even. Maybe? Not even, because our milk is nothing. Well, we pay for feed. We pay for I'm feed. So, I'm figuring that in. Right, okay, so. Maybe a quarter. And then the yogurt starter, and then all you have to do is strain this for 24 hours mm -hmm. in your refrigerator, mix it with some salt, and then you're gonna put it in a bowl with some cheesecloth and put something heavy on it for another so just two straight, days. Basically, you're trying to get as much liquid out of it as you can. Pressing out the way, and this, I gotta tell you, is delightful. I will never buy store-bought stuff it's again. It's silly. Let's yeah. just say that the first time we made it, I think we honestly probably each ate over eight, 10 ounces each. Because we're just like putting it on crackers going, this is really good. We did not eat eight to 10 ounces each. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I had it every morning on toast. Oh my gosh. That was so good. A little cinnamon and sugar. Oh yeah. yeah. But well, I need to keep my sugar down. Yeah. I need to keep my sugar down. Yeah. Um, let's switch over to lunches okay. and snacks and okay. stuff.